Hello again, it's great to be with you. I hope your, your day is going well uh, and that you are indeed well too. Um, we've been working our way through the Bible, uh, taking a different book of the Bible each day. Uh, today is day 62, so we're well into the latter parts of the New Testament now. Um, today's, le today's letter, it is a letter, is from is the first letter of John. I have to confess I was very tempted to take the next three parts of the, the New Testament as one study because they're quite short and they're all written by the same author, uh, the Apostle John, the disciple whom Jesus loved as he put it in his Gospel. But I felt that that was taking a shortcut that didn't seem right, so we're going to look at them separately. As I said, these letters are written by John in the early 90s AD, when I guess John would have been getting on in years. The first letter simply tells us that Jesus wasn't just a man, he was also God. His opening four verses make that point very clearly. In fact, the point is that he was fully God and fully man at the same time. He had lived in both the heavenly realm and on earth. It teaches us that when we live a godly life, there is nothing that Jesus cannot understand because he's experienced it all. He knows what it is to be human. And that should help us to place our trust in him. He knows what sin is. He knows what doubt is. Uh, he knows what fear is all about. Um, he knows what it's like to experience life in every other aspect. He knew what it felt like to be cold and tired and hungry. Um, and he also knows what the heavenly realms are like. He knows what temptation is about. He knows that that's a real thing. And that spiritual warfare, warfare is a real and genuine battle for us. Chapter 5, verse 5, he says something that is, I think, worth memorising, quoting to yourself when you find that life is getting hard, when things are a struggle. Uh, that verse, verse 5 in chapter 5 says, <clears throat> Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. And whilst it's not healthy or even accurate to think that there are demons behind, hiding behind every lamppost uh, waiting to pounce on us, Satan exists, and so do his cohorts. We know that, not just because John talks about it in this letter, but because Jesus did too. You've only got to look in Matthew chapter 4, John chapter 8, uh, Mark chapter 5, I think, just to mention a few places, and you'll see what Jesus had to say. But John gave us the greatest weapons in our struggle against temptation and the powers of darkness. He says, You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. It's a recognition that when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you're filled with all the powers of heaven. There is nothing left that can overcome that. You may uh, suffer persecution, you may be hurt in body or mind, but your spirit can never be harmed. So let's take those thoughts and just pray, shall we? Lord Jesus, we thank you for, for the gift of your Spirit. Thank you for his presence within us. I pray, Lord, that you'd bless us to hold to the truth that he who dwells within us is more powerful than he who dwells in the world. Thank you that in you we have authority to overcome evil and the power to stand in faith through every battle. So I pray, Lord, that you'd bless us to, uh, to know the depth and strength of that knowledge. So again, Lord, we ask that you pour your Spirit out upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.